This is the first lesson of the new course network automation and service orchestration using Cisco NSO. In this section, we will discuss what is Cisco NSO and the advantages that this software brings to us automation, orchestration, and version control. And we will also talk about the architecture of the software in this section. What are network automation and service orchestration provided by Cisco NSO? Network automation means that you can configure multiple devices at the same time by creating a device configuration template. Service orchestration means that you can configure a service on your network without giving any commands, but just giving the values of the parameters required to implement the service. For example, if you want to configure a new VLAN on your network, simply enter the name of the new VLAN and the switches in which you want to have this new network. A new VLAN number is configured in the corresponding switches and it is added to the allowed VLAN list of corresponding trunk interfaces automatically by Cisco NSO. Service orchestration will be implemented using service template which will be discussed during the course. Additionally, it has the capability of version control like many other automation software. By version control, you can revert back the configuration of not only one device but also the entire network to some earlier versions. Cisco NSO is a multi-vendor automation software which supports more than 170 device types or vendors. Cisco NSO must have a driver for any device supported by this software. Network device driver in this software are called NED or network element drivers. In these links in the Cisco community websites, you can see a list of some supported NEDs. As you can see, the list of the most important network device vendors can be found in the supported device list. To learn more about Cisco NSO, let's take a look at Cisco NSO architecture and components. This photo which is taken from Cisco documents show the most important component of this software. From southbound, there is a net or network element driver for each device supported in this software. Depending on the type of device supported, it communicates with device using different methods like CLI, SNMP, NetConf, and ResConf, which are the most important communication methods that this software uses to get or change the configuration of the supported network devices. More than 170 devices are currently supported by Cisco NSO over the southbound interface. From the northbound, not only network administrators, but also applications can communicate with network devices via this software. NSO can be managed via CLI or GUI. These methods are primarily used by network administrators to automate networks and orchestrate services through the NSO software. NSO can also be managed through the NetConf and ResConf, which is mainly used by network developers and applications to get or set the data of network devices through the Cisco NSO. Suppose you as an administrator orchestrate MPLS VPN service in NSO through the CLI or Web GUI. Therefore, to add a new MPLS VPN customer, we give just the list of PE routers and interfaces in which the new customer is connected. In the next step, we develop 
an application to add new customers in MPLS VPN service through the application. In other words, for each new customer, the list of PE routers and interfaces connected to the new customer is given through the application. The application then communicate with NSO through the NetConf or ResConf protocol to transfer each customer information. Both NetConf and ResConf protocols use Yang data model, which is fully supported by Cisco NSO. About the Yang data model and ResConf and NetConf protocol, we have already discussed in the course with the same name. You can see NCS name in the photo, which is the old name of the NSO. You will see the old name many times throughout the course since the name of the software and commands are still NCS. But uh, you have to know that this is the old name of Cisco NSO. With Device Manager, you can automate network devices through creating device configuration template, which will be discussed in a few sections. With the service manager, you can orchestrate network services through creating new packages, including configuration template, Yang data model, and logic codes. Creating service through NSO is one of the most important topics discussed in this course, which will be discussed during the course.